what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. guys and welcome back well at the beginning of the week uh we've been hearing a lot about the life and times of richard Pryor. uh first through um the quincy jones interview at vulture magazine and also from richard Pryor's widow uh jennifer lee and uh, they both claimed that uh richard Pryor and Marlon Brando had a uh, sex relationship uh, during the 1970s. And um, Richard Pryor's ex-wife uh, claimed that um, in his journals and um, the things that she told him that he was bisexual and he had sex with uh, a lot of other men in Hollywood. Now, while speaking with reporters, um, this is what Jennifer, his uh, widow, uh, told TMZ. But now, however, according to his daughter, Rain Pryor, that just isn't true. Now, in an Instagram post, Rain said he did not have relations with Brando and there were never trips to the South Pacific Oasis or love notes or romantic gifts. Now, on Thursday night, she claimed that there wasn't even a film role involved. Now, additionally, Rain stated the story is just conjectured for the sake of generating views and ratings. Now, she rhetorically asked why everyone felt the need to drag her father through the mud. Uh, Rain said, we live in the age of fake news uh, it's real unless we disagree for the sake of our agendas. And uh, through her um, Instagram on Rain Prior and Prior Productions, she furthermore said, All you who taunt false news and preach about wanting blacks to be represented in a great light and then post a Q's interview are irrelevant. And full of your own BS. Q was once, was once a brilliant music producer who was losing his mind and decided to garner publicity for himself with a sensationalized interview. And because y'all think of equate fame and money with decency, you ate it up like thirsty dogs. As we, as he spewed out a lie about my father, who's not here to defend himself. Now, just yesterday, it was revealed by Quincy Jones, as I was saying um, in an interview with Vulture, that Marlon and Richard had allegedly gotten together. Now, Jones claimed that Bren, uh, Brando was the most charming MF you've ever met, and he'd uh, screw anything. <laughs> now, either way, regardless of the stories are true or not, Rain merely wants everyone to stop focusing on her dad, on her dead father, and look at the real issues instead. Uh, now, the daughter of the famous comedian said he was brilliant and bruised and an honest political activist. Fans should be talking about this, his com comic genius and not his alleged fraternizations. Hmm. Now, during an interview with People Magazine in 1973, Brandon admitted to having relationships with men. He stated it was something he was unashamed of, but the idea that he had gotten together with Jack Nicholas was laughable. Well, my take on this whole thing is... First of all, you got to look, it was the 70s. And in the 70s, they were doing some hard drugs. <laughs> Having orgies and uh, high off of 
everything from LSD to it, it was all our time. And, you know, I understand that um, Rain is trying to protect her father's legacy. But she wouldn't have known what her father was into. She was just a child herself. And then I, I do say that, but I will say one thing that I agree with Rain. You know, if, if he was bisexual, that's okay, too. That was him. That wasn't all of him. I mean, who's to say if that's right or wrong? I mean, he still was a brilliant comedian. And, um, you know, I kind of believe the story about the men because on the uh, Netflix uh, comedy special that they had, an old one on Richard Pryor when he was first uh, starting out, <laughs> He joked about, uh, you know, screwing men. You know, that was part of his uh, act. So, you know, uh, he's dead, and uh, a dead man can't talk. So, I mean, we can't, we can only just listen to the guy. It's just gossip because it, you know, uh, because he's not here to defend himself. But, you know, like I said, you know, it was the 70s. Whole lot of drugs, whole lot of organs, you know. But um, you know, he still was a brilliant comedian who opened doors for comedians, black comedians. Uh, now, if it had not been for Richard, uh, the um, mainstream of black uh, comedians uh, today would not be here if it wasn't for Richard Pryor opening the doors for them. So, you know, I, I agree with uh, Rain. I mean, hey, let's not focus on who he had sex with. Let's just focus on the man. Hmm? And, you know, this is my thought of, you know, Q spilling the tea on everyone else. I mean, Q, how many men, and who are the men that you screwed? I mean, uh, what's your sin of choice? Uh, you know, I mean, he's just talking about da-da-da-da-da, and he screw anything, and da-da-da-da-da, and then this old man talking about he got 22 uh, girlfriends around him. Yeah, you know, but, yeah, Q, what did you do? I mean, what's your sin of choice? I tell you, you know, when you're living in glass houses, don't throw no stones. Because I don't know if you remember, and I'm just going to say this and leave it alone, but um, at the time of Tupac's death, he was dating one of Q's uh, daughters. And uh, I don't know how true it was, but um, there was, a you know, a tape that um, Tupac said that... Uh, he had wanted to meet with Q, and he met with Q, and Q propositioned him to have sex with him, which he turned it down. So, mm -hmm. Q got that much sense. He ain't that crazy. It's Q telling on everybody else except Q. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always in party, be blessed. Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back.